Thump. Love it. Now, affiliate link, Blender Market, down below, RBD Lab makes cell fracture so much easier. So let's quickly start off, delete that default cube. As always, I've already installed the add-on as you know, you install every other add-on. I'm gonna first add in a ground, cool beans. From here, shift A, let's add in a mesh. I'm just gonna go plane and then tab into edit mode, E to extrude. Uh, let's select everything, control shift B. Sorry, control B. Um, and I kind of want to just have, you know, like a pad here. Now we've got multiple ways of fracturing this up. We can just do a subdivision. We can paint. Um, we can use annotate annotation or we can use scatter. So I'm just going to draw because we can draw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go X marks the spot and then we'll draw a circle. Cool beans. And from here, I'm going to go end annotation. And then we can come down here into fracture. There we go. So it's fractured that little specific area. From here, let's just clear the annotations because we no longer need it. And what I'm going to do is here is all our settings. So here we can set certain, um, you know, what kind of material it is, charcoal, bricks. Let's just leave concrete because concrete's nice. Um, from here, this is actually interesting how it works because we've got the target collection. And so everything which we just self fractured goes into a collection. So everything we do goes onto every piece within that collection, which is pretty smart. From here, I want to start deactivated. I want to add rigid body activities, actives, sorry, so that it does have rigid bodies. Let's just click update. Um, for now, I kind of want an object to come through and go smash, Hulk smash. Let's just go shift A, I'm gonna go UV sphere. Now what I could do is attach um, rigid bodies to this so it would fall, but I'm just gonna animate it. So let's go to frame 10, I to set a location keyframe, and then we'll go frame 30, GZ, all the way down sunshine, I, location. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna just go straight down, not start slowly speed up and then slow down again. So I'm gonna press T while I'm in the bar down the bottom and go linear. So if I go back and press play, nothing happens because we haven't applied the rigid body to this thing. Now I'm just gonna do it how I normally do it. Let's just go into object up the top, into rigid body and add passive. And then just gonna make it animated over here in the bottom right hand corner. So if we go play, Let's, okay, well, so what Marco, so what? Let's speed it up. Let's make this go forward a little bit faster. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is, now it's gonna go down really fast, hit it. I'm just gonna bake the rigid body, there we go. Let's just make it 100 frames. Let's just go bake, cool beans. And then from here, if I go play, we can see it explodes, whoop de doo However, this is some cool stuff that we can do now. So let's go to the point of impact, which is here. And I can come down, I can emit from current frame. So we're gonna emit some debris. Um, and you'll see that it's probably gonna be massive. So let's scale that down, uh, maybe 0.02. There we go. And as well, what we could do is emit some dust, but I think even the dust is gonna be a little bit big. Whoops. So it's emitting dust a little bit too late, but we can change all that. Uh, I want it to emit on frame 15 and it's a bit big. Let's go 0.01. All right, how's that look now? A little bit too much dust. So we can bring that number down to about 50 and also the debris, let's just bring it down to five. Let's go like this. Freaking schmick. Now some other cool stuff as well. So with this object here as well, so with the objects, if, let me just go back to the start. If we come into the material tab, we can see that we've already got the outer material and the inner material created. Freaking, that is. So let me just quickly use extreme PBR combo. I'm just gonna quickly add in some concrete. So I'm gonna make an exterior concrete. 
uh, that one there. Uh, map kit, specularity, roughness, normal, whatevs. Replace them. Whoops. And then we want an inner concrete. I'm just going to use that one there. Looks good. And replace all that. Now, if we go into rendered view, we can see our wonderful piece of concrete. Let me just fix up the material because I haven't updated this yet. Change to that one. So I've gone ahead and added a HDRI, added some materials, added some materials to the ball. Which is pretty cool. Let's just press F12. How quick look we're rendering e in EV at the moment. A um, little bit of UV mapping issue, but that's fine. What I think I might do is let's just pick this thing, the the the, the ground, and then from here, let's just select everything. I'm just going to subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Uh, one more. Where is the ball of imp point of impact? I'm just going to select there. Let's go into proportional editing. GZ. I'm going to actually just kind of bring that down. And then let's come back into our add-on. Uh, let's quickly go delete all, bake. And with that, let's go to the start. I can see a lot of cool stuff coming in.